Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. As we've seen from a bunch of the recent tournaments that started off this year, the old mid-strolling hover rig or hover strolling or Demiki rig, whatever you want to call it, is going to be a major player all year long. You're going to hear a lot about this, continue to dominate tournaments. It's just as forward-facing sonar becomes more and more prevalent, these baits are going to continue to catch a lot of fish. And there's several reasons for that. Uh, the first and foremost just has to be with the efficiency of that bait being able to kept in the strike zone. You know, anytime you're talking about uh, like a hover rig or a Demiki rig or your mid strolling, whatever you want to call it, the bait generally, the key is to keep it suspended above the fish. And with these baits, you generally can keep them with small rod twitches. You can keep them kind of walking above where the fish are at. That's what makes this so prevalent and why we're starting to see specialty jig heads made specifically for these techniques. And just to mention, they actually aren't necessarily specifically for this. They just tend to work extremely well. You can use them for a lot of different techniques, but these are some really good uh, product. So I figured I'd go over a bunch of the different baits that I like to use and a bunch of the different jig heads that I prefer to use because I think you're going to continue to hear more and more about this. Now the majority of the time from a bait standpoint you're talking about straight tailed baits. Uh, the reason for that again is because you can get the bait down to the fish but they tend to walk and glide really well and that is what allows the bait to stay above the fish. So if you have a bait that's darting around, it's going to want to basically just stay at that water level. If you've got a bait with a bunch of, bunch of appendages, it's just going to sit there in the water. It's not going to just necessarily move and create those reaction strikes that you're looking for. So for me, I really like the straight tail baits, and a lot of these are ones that I like to throw on the hover rig. You've seen me talk about them before, but they work great on your mid-strolling or Demiki rigs as well. Uh, so let's just kind of talk about some of the different, let's talk about the jig heads first. Uh, you know, one of my absolute favorite ones is your hover rig that we make the core tackle. That's just where the weight is inserted in the middle. Uh, we make weights up to an eighth ounce in the standard size. We do have heavier, heavy duty options. The key here is if you're looking for a bait really to suspend in the water column, the hover rig is great. Not the best bait for getting down significantly deeper. So if I'm trying to fish deeper than 10 or 15 foot, generally speaking, the hover rig is not going to be my first option. Uh, that's when I'll start going with some more, more of my uh, heavier weighted jigs, but still not something that's supposed to get down to 35 feet. You know, a lot of people would refer to that mid range as mid strolling. One of my favorites for mid strolling is also our core tackle tush head. Again, it inserts into the bait, but the key here is you're trying to get your bait to dart and glide and stay suspended. Uh, and that's what any internally weighted jig head is going to do, like your tush jig head. So I will definitely use that for mid strolling. Another one that I really like is this guy right here. This is the owner range roller. It's a new jig head, but it's got a very similar concept where it's built off a 90 degree jig head. And it allows the bait to roll quite a bit, which is one of those key triggering mechanisms. When you get that movement, you get different color change. That's what triggers a lot of bites. But again, it's a very good mid-strolling, mid-range depth bait that will help keep your bait in the water column where you're looking to keep it. Uh, and then if I'm fishing deeper, that's when I start going with some of more traditional ball heads. You know, this right here is a Scottsboro. This is their Hellfire Finesse is what it's called. I like it. It's got the uh, hitchhiker built into it, locks your bait in really well. But this is again going to be something that I'm fishing in that 25 foot range or deeper. Uh, this right here is the 3 8 ounce. Just gets your bait down, allows you to keep it down there. And then at the same time, that's where I'm going to go with some of the heavier tungsten ball heads. This is just the Queen's Tackle. Uh, I think they just call it their tungsten ball head. Uh, but again, it's it's a heavier jig, gets down there. It's just a really good bait for fishing that Demiki rig style to keep your bait down where you want it. So for me, those are the standard jig heads that I'm generally fishing. My decision comes really based on uh, the depth of the fish. So I'll choose any of those. From a bait standpoint, I think these are all pretty interchangeable based on the jig head that you're using. You can fish them shallow to, to deep. And for me, like this is a good one that I've been playing around with quite a bit. This is the... Uh, raid fish roller 
the four inch size. So they make these in generally anything from like three inch up to five or six inch in all of these baits. So again, I'm gonna be trying to generally match the hatch uh, as to what the bait fish I'm fishing around. But the four inch size is one of my go-tos. The fish roller is a very good one, been working great. The Kitek four inch shad impact, really good one as well. Lots of movement in that bait, uh, looks great. The Hog Farmer Spunk Shad, a lot of people think it's just a chatterbait trailer. Works phenomenally well for your hover rig, mid-strolling to Miki rig applications. The Jackal Rhythm Wag, another one of my favorites right here. That thing has a ton of movement in it. Uh, and I would say right now, those are kind of like the four go-tos when it comes to fishing, you know, your Demiki rig, your mid-strolling, mid your hover rig, any of those uh, seem to be generating a ton of bites for me. So they've been my go-tos. Let me know in the comment section, what are some other baits you think I should experiment with? What are some other baits you've been having great success with? I would love to know from you guys too, because this really is kind of a new technique and we're all kind of learning as we move forward together. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the support out there. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.